you got to brace your hands. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Kapow! All right, listen up. So I'm at my computer. I'm all, oh, now it's printing. I'm at my computer, and I'm all caught up on my emails. And I'm like, all right, it's time to get on camera and give the fans what they want. <laughs> all right. Guys, today I wish to tell you the story of how I met my wife. First off, I got married young and Mormon. I was Mormon from age 15 to 42. I'm now 50. And we got married in the Salt Lake Temple. My first wife is from Utah, has relatives around here. And that's how I ended up here. We ended up moving here on account of her family. And I love it here now, though. I love Salt Lake. Absolutely fantastic city. Really a magic place. And you can never step in the same river twice. When you're living somewhere, it might be magic just for a little while. You think you're going to go back 10 years later? Well, guess what? You're not. You know what's funny? See the uh, door handle there? I, I registered that as a speck on the computer screen. and I was like going to flick it off. Uh, the only real form of dry cleaning. And got divorced. That's a story for another time. I have to tell you, divorce is scary. Even if you prepare yourself for it, even if you initiate it, it's still, it's a, it's a big change. If you've been someone to, with someone for 20 years and you have children with them, wow. It's a, bit, it's a big transition, and I think there's, there's a lot of emotion that goes along with that. And I met Luli. Her name's Luli, L-U-L-Y. I met her on eHarmony just a few weeks after the divorce, early 2015. And at the time, I didn't know which way is up. I didn't really even have a... A real dating experience before what was about to, was about to happen. Some of you know a little bit about that story, which I have not told in its entirety, not by a long shot. Meet her on the phone. We're talking. She lives with her dad, and I'm like, uh, she lives with her dad. Is that like a guy that lives with her their mom still? And she's 36 at the time. And I'm like, all right. And she, she said, she's like very reserved. And I'm like, uh, it's like this mousy librarian type. Well, that can be good too. So I agree to drive up to Salt Lake and meet her at this Mediterranean restaurant. Um, and I, I'm expecting the restaurant to look a little like a, sub, like a subway, you know, but with like, uh, no, it was Middle Eastern. Anyway, with Middle Eastern food and... So, and that she's going to, you know, be all trout shouldered and have like a gray shawl, you know. And, uh, oh, I need to stop saying, you know. So I get there, and first off, the restaurant is amazing. It's, it's magical. It's got all this great Middle Eastern architecture. It has these hammered copper pillars that have been cut out with like stars and shapes on them. And they have twinkling lights in the middle and the whole place just smells amazing and it's magical and I go in I of course look awesome I look like Cary Grant and I go in there there's this woman in the back this raven haired gypsy princess with ruby lips and coffee eyes and she's waving to me and she's just smiling just huge white smile and I'm like huh that's weird that lady seems to be mistaking me for somebody else. I wonder if the mousy librarian is behind her. Oh no, it was her! It's like, oh my gosh, she was fantastic. It really was, in many ways, the proverbial love at first sight. Now, on her dating profile, it said she was 5'8". And after seeing each other for about a month, I... There's no way she's 5'8". She's 5'7", tops. And so I bring it up. I call her on it. She says, she says, nope, I'm 5'8". 
And little did I know, this was basically her personality. Luli, if she gets her mind set on something, that's it. The conversation is over. So what I do is at my, uh, at my studio, where I have my little bedroom, I put two marks on the door, the inside of the door, one at 5'7", and one at 5'8". And we're like, you know, wrestling around, and I, bam, I get her up against the door. And I kind of I kind of move her feet up against the door so she'll be standing up straight, you know? And I kind of get her into position. And I, like, I get to the side, and I'm, like, looking. And uh, sure enough, that lady's 5'7". Not an inch above. All right. I can tell from my audience this is not a very funny story. By the way, I'd like to say that today we have guest artist Katie with us. Yeah, give it up for Katie. Woo! Hey, I'm trying to think of a theme song for my talk show that I'm going to have. Wouldn't I be a great talk show host? Except for the interrupting thing. That would be not great. I need to do... Need to keep that for the monologue. My hero, Conan O'Brien. Yeah. If you... <laughs> don't, don't come around here if you don't like Conan O'Brien. And 90s Conan O'Brien. That's, that's, really, that's really the best. All right, guys. That's all I got to say. Let me tell you. You know, let's just go around the studio. Should I just do it in one take? Yeah, I'll just take the... Take the camera off. It's okay, Katie. I'll just I'll just show like the top of your head or something like that. By the way, Katie, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Put the the thing on over your whole face. Great. Here, no, I'm gonna. Here you go. Ugh. There it is. All right. You're safe now. All right. So anyway, Katie started working at the studio when she was 16. Yeah, one of the very, very few minors I've allowed on set. So anyway, here we go. So I got this trade in, and it's going up on the web store. I put up all those uh, Aspect Warriors. Very pleased with that. Got a set of Phoenix Lord minus a Sermon, an old Eldrad, Banshees, Dark Reapers. Come on, those are still hot. Same with the Dire Avengers. Two parts of a... Triumvirate, a Forge World, what's it, guy? Avatar, that's a cool figure. And I've got his hair things there. That's, and his loincloth, that's a real thing. Personally, I would just snip off that middle part and not put it on at all. He doesn't need that giant top knot. Three fire prisms, I got all this. I have all the fire prism parts for those two. And I think that's it. I got in a bunch of packages here. Tons down there. They all need to get unpacked. Uh, really, and these um, endless spells. Picked those up, and we're going to be painting those up just for fun. We've got a lot of uh, tanks, iron hands stuff coming off, right? Uh, what else? Nope, guys. That's about it. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Enthusiasm levels. 80%.